Hello everybody. Uh, now I'm going to showcase a bit of the extra mocap tools. Uh, following this, we'll be covering Advanced Retarget, which deals with uh, more complex armatures such as uh, Sintel, which will be the example I'll be using. That's in a few minutes. Uh, for now, uh, I just want to showcase the your options regarding retargeting multiple animations. So, as I said, we're going to kind of do this walk animation again. No IK, just the foot set, and I'm going to hit retarget. And there's our walk animation. So what I'm going to do now is import another BVH file from the same series. Number five. This is a character dribbling a basketball. All right. So we've imported it in. Select the anomaly. Hit load mapping, and there we go. Everything went back up. Uh, just before we retarget, we're going to want to fix and auto scale just because it's a little more convenient and there you go you can see that now we just can just mark the toe bases again you can see the action name is now five instead of one and we target And now we've retargeted a dribbling animation. Now, if you want to switch between the retargets, you can just hit go to this window, and here you have the list of retargeted animations, and you can just switch between them. What this actually does is, if we look a bit at the NLA panel, we can see that the NLA actions are, si swi are set to 601. And switching it here just switches them to 5. So that's an easy way. Now, another great thing we can do is, of course, stitch the animations. So we'll go to 6 and 1. And stitching the animations means setting them so they blend from one to another. That is, we'll want our character to take a few normal steps and then start dribbling the ball. Uh, you can choose the stitch frame, that is the frame where you want the animations to blend, the blend amount, that is the size of this transition. And the second offset is, for the second animation, you often, often don't want to start it on the first frame, you want to start it kind of somewhere in the middle. Uh, you can do this manually by kind of looking and see where the, what the, where the good blend values are and so on or you can use guess settings. The last option is stick bone, which is very important because when you're blending animations, obviously some bones are going to have to move a bit unnaturally for the animation to blend well. But the best way to prevent artifacts is to choose a single bone that will maintain its position. For example, if you're in this example, you can choose the foot bone that is being uh, Choose a foot bone. Okay, for example, here you can choose a foot bone, uh, and that will provide the best look because there won't be foot skate, which again is uh, kind of the worst out of artifact there is. So I'll just choose foot.l and hit guest settings. Uh, this takes a while. This is one of the slow operations because it kind of has to analyze and compare both animations, which are each one is about four or five hundred frames long, so we'll just wait a moment. All right, and once it guesses, it prints the guess to the console and sets the anim sets the things automatically, and we can now hit just hit stitch and see what it came up with. So if we look, we can see that. Oh, that looks terrible.
let's try to increase the blend amount and try again I see the hips are full 180 rotation Oh, interestingly enough, you can simply see that the guess has kind of failed and it's chosen frames where the feet are actually reversed. So there's, if you notice here, foot.r is behind foot.l and here it switches to be in front of it. Uh, so let's set our own stitch frame. by moving to where the second animation you can look at it by just turning these off where the second animation has its foot forward that is here you can see that toes.l on 136 has its best best foot forward turn this back on, stitch animation oh and that's already looking much better let's increase the blend amount a bit stitch the animations a bit too much. Stitch the animations. Ah, and there we go. It's a pretty good blend. It goes a bit too fast. You can increase the blend amount. That can help. There might also be a we're asking it to do a bit much. That is, we're asking it to blend from there to there. So let's uh, kind of maybe lower the offset on this. It's a bit of trial and error. There's not much you can do about it. I'm working on improving the automatic guessing, but it's very complicated. But that lets you kind of fairly quickly stitch two animations together. That's looking pretty good already. See, he blends in from walking to a nice stitch, to a nice jiggle.